Hey guys, so this is Koi Creek in October 2017. So this is the creek system that I built in my backyard over the summertime. And you can see that there are a little koi, uh, three koi, and a bunch of little indigenous um, panfish as well. A couple of brim, a couple of uh, wormouth. Look closely, you, if you look closely, you can actually see them down there. So this thing's pretty neat. The, the way it works, the um, the water spills out of the water overflows from the, the main uh, tank inside. The continuous drip system runs down through that red cable. You can actually a red tube. You can see you can probably see a small amount of water dripping out, and it feeds into this little creek. The water flows down to the end. And then it gets recirculated back to the beginning of the creek by this little custom filter box. As you can see there's a little 1200 gallon per hour pump down there. So pretty neat. So you can see there's the, the tube. Basically the tube is buried underneath the ground by that back up to here. And it comes back comes back out right right there that's what makes the creek the creek work the plants love it the fish love it you can see that you can actually see the water movement a little better right there got this big elephant ear plant got a bunch of little little local aquatic vegetation bits that I collected from lakes and ponds around the area so most of this stuff is, this is all Atlanta, Georgia stuff. We got bullfrogs, salamanders, um, ivy, all that. So I'm going to cover this for the winter. I'm going to winterize it, cover it up with plastic, essentially, and protect it from the coldest parts of the winter so that the uh, vegetation will continue to grow. I think the elephant ears are going to be cut back a little bit because they're too big to put the, the plastic over. But I'm going to protect this over the winter keep it warm and by next spring when I unveil it it'll be even more lush than it already is I hope but I wanted to show this off because it's gonna be covered up soon by the winterizing plastic and then we won't be able to see it plus it's gonna be really cold fun little fun little thing to do though if you have, you know, uh, I have this continuous feed of water. I don't even need a liner. It's just clay, Georgia clay underneath that substrate there. And the water, very little leaks out. There's very little seepage. It just sits on top of the clay. And continuously runs down through the creek to the bottom. And then right back up again, over and over and over. All right, so hey, the, the, as far as the Cichlid Show uh, stream, it has been offline for a while now, for like uh, a month. I've been doing a long-term um, time lapse, uh, studying the way the algae grows and the way the diatoms interact with uh, different colors of LEDs. I found that the 10K bulbs, 10K LED strips, uh, tend to lead to a large amount of brown algae or diatoms. And so I'm experimenting with uh, white and blue LED combos, which facilitate the growth of red algae instead of brown algae. And it should it should help me with my diatom issue, I hope. But the main tank's actually in there. All right. Later, guys.